goodness. Thank you all for being here. Can you hear me okay back there? There are two seats here, if anybody wants to come and sit here. In the back. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to bite when you get lollipops. So, anybody else? Well, thank you all for being here. This uh, is actually quite overwhelming. Um, to see everybody here. There's some people I didn't know were coming and they've shown up and I'm, I'm just incredibly thrilled. And Lynn mentioned um, dream teams and I think you are all on my dream team and we will discuss this a little bit later. Um, sorry, this is, this is really overwhelming so I will calm down in a minute and I know you're all friendly faces and that's what makes it even more stressful. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, I'm going to start by thanking Romans for having me here today. Thank you very much. Yes. It's very important that we support independent bookstores, so I'm thrilled to do my second uh, author talk here. So, first here, one in England, at independent bookstores. So I ask you to join me in supporting independent bookstores. <coughs> so I'm going to read an excerpt from the uh, book. I've sort of put a couple of paragraphs together. So this is why I'm reading off the iPad and not the book. So, <laughs> but, and then um, I will, this is about five minutes, and then I'll go through the permission journey, and I will answer questions at the end. So please start thinking about your questions. They can do with the book. They can be about uh, the writing process. It can be about anything. So, well, within reason, of course. <laughs> um, many people are in careers and lives they feel they never completely chose for themselves. Suddenly they see that many of the decisions they've made over the years were done in an effort to fit in or gain approval. Some made choices based upon what they believed their parents or society had told them were appropriate or worthy. Somewhere along the line, they stopped following their own hearts. One decision led to another, and they lost track of the hopes and dreams they had in early childhood. They thought that by putting themselves first, they were acting selfishly. They hoped that by, they hoped that by conforming, they were making the right decisions, maybe the easier ones. However, somewhere deep down, they now battle with the insidious feeling that they are not as happy or fulfilled as they could be. They are, in a, they are in a place where they no longer even give themselves permission to think about what they might want to do or be. What does give yourself permission mean? The word permission is used a lot in the self-help and personal development industry, in product and service-driven businesses, in politics, really all over the place. But what does it mean? I use the concept of giving yourself permission to describe what happens when you decide and allow yourself to be, to do, uh, sorry, when you decide and allow yourself to do what is best for you. Whether that is saying no to a needy friend, taking care of your immediate needs so you can be more present in your relationships, or sometimes even allowing yourself to think about what you might want to do with your own life. A huge number of personal development books and programs are successful at giving you tools to empower yourself from the outside. They often encourage people to attempt quite daring feats, such as bungee cord jumping or climbing some very high mountain. All this is part of a process of goal setting and action planning. And the idea is for people to make very ambitious goals and then work hard to realize them. It's all very valid work. But I'd argue that for many people, something else has to happen first. Long before they reach the stage of even being able to vocalize their long-term goals, Many people need to build firm foundations of confidence and self-worth that will enable them to take the reins of personal responsibility 
and give themselves permission to start looking at what they want for their lives. They need to learn how to give themselves permission to make small advances before they're able to make great strides. Those tentative steps forward are often the hardest steps of all to take, but are the ones that elicit the most satisfaction when achieved. Far from being selfish, people become better friends, partners, sons, daughters, siblings, and co-workers. In modern society, we usually think of permission in terms of someone else granting us the authority to do something. A passport allows us to get on a plane and enter another country. And a driving license lets us take to the road. However, it's now time for you to give yourself that passport, which will grant you the permission to travel to places unknown, the license to take care of yourself, and the liberty to be creative and free.